Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing Apple's all new AirPods. They're fully wireless headphones that are finally now available. They have launched after a number of delays. Now be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're interested in winning a pair of AirPods, because in addition to just unboxing them in today's video, I'm also giving a pair away. So again, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to enter and also check out the giveaway instructions video linked in your cards now, as well as down below in the description. You can either check it out now or after this video concludes to get your hands on the awesome AirPods yourself. All right, so let's get straight into this, starting with just the box first. On the front, we do have a picture of the AirPods. It's embossed, so it is slightly raised up above the background. Really nice, an awesome touch. Both sides have an Apple logo, and it simply says AirPods on the top, all in kind of a silver finish. And on the back, we just have a quick picture of the case with the AirPods inside of it and the Lightning to USB cable to actually charge the case itself. So let's go ahead and open this thing up using my knife. We're just going to cut through the plastic wrap that is protecting the box there right at the top, and we can just pull it off like so. All right, here we go, guys, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and lift the lid on the AirPods box to reveal a little sheet that says designed by Apple in California. Let's take this out first and then also set this off to the side. These are the AirPods themselves inside of the case, which also doubles as a charging solution. So let's go ahead and set these off to the side. And right beneath that, we just have Apple's lightning to USB cable. Now this is how you're actually going to charge just the case itself. You can see right there, we do have a lightning port because when you're actually charging the headphones, all you have to do is just put them back inside of the case and they instantly start charging. We'll get into that in just a second. So we have Apple's lightning to USB cable right here. You can either plug this into the default power brick that you get when you actually purchase your iPhone, or you can plug it into your computer or any other power source really to charge it. So let's go ahead and put this back here. And we're actually going to return to the little sheet that said designed by Apple in California, because inside of this, we have something that says AirPods, and we also have safety and handling information and details on Apple's one-year limited warranty. We're not really too interested in these two, so we can set those off as well. And let's actually focus on the first thing that came in that little sleeve. It says AirPods right on the top, and this contains some very useful information. It tells you how to pair the AirPods, and essentially all you have to do, of course, if you guys are familiar with the process, is just open the lid. So long as Bluetooth is enabled on your iPhone, they will instantly pop up, and you can just tap on connect. It's as simple as that. And then, provided you are logged in on iCloud to other devices as well, so long as they are running either Mac OS Sierra, iOS, OS 10.2 or watch OS 3 or higher, then yes, they will be connected and you can connect to them. Of course, it does sync seamlessly across all of your devices if they are logged in through iCloud, which is what this last little page right here is telling you. Now, we also have some additional information on the device on the other side. Now, it tells you how you're going to connect to other devices. It's very simple. There's just a button on the back. I'm going to detail it in just a second. And then it also walks through Siri. You just have to double tap either of the AirPods when they're in your ears, and then it will activate or invoke Siri so long as it is connected to like your iPhone, for instance. It also works on Mac OS Sierra. I have tested it, and of course your iPad as well. So really anything that has Siri. And then it tells you about about the charge light as well, which is just on the case. Now, what this charge light does is it just provides you a quick glimpse as to the charge level of both the AirPods as well as the case. So when you just flip the lid up, it will tell you the charge level of the AirPods. Green means they're good to go, and then that kind of amber color means that they are still charging. And then you take them out of the case, and then the LED represents what the charge level of the case itself actually is. So when they're in the case, it tells you what the charge level of the actual AirPods are. When they're out of the case, it tells you what the charge level of the case is. Pretty self-explanatory, but then when you also pop them out, it gives you detailed information inside of whichever OS you're connected to. It also does tell you inside of Mac OS, which is pretty cool. I've tested that out already. And then finally, it just tells you how you're going to charge them. So to charge the AirPods, you're just going to pop them inside of the case, and then to charge the case, you're just going to connect it 
like I told you guys about previously. Now, each individual AirPod does have a five hour battery life. You can use them independently from one another or together inside of a stereo pair. So five hours for each AirPod and then the case itself provides the AirPods with an additional 24 hours of charge time. So when you're done listening, you don't have to worry about losing them. Just pop them back inside of the case and they'll instantly start charging. In fact, I think all of the people who have started talking about how easily they're going to lose these things simply don't know what they're talking about. Of course, they haven't had the opportunity to actually test them yet and they might not be familiar with the fact that the case is how you're going to charge them. So they're an expensive piece of tech or relatively expensive. I mean, they do have a bunch of tech crammed inside of them. So for what they are, I definitely think the value is where it should be, $159. But for a lot of people, that is expensive. So you're going to treat these as you would with any other expensive piece of tech. You're just going to put them back inside of the case when you're done with it. And then that way you won't lose them. It's as easy as that. All right, so let's finally return to the star of the show here. We're just going to take off the plastic wrap that is protecting the little case right here. And it just pops out like so. So it is very elegant. I absolutely love the design. It's just plain basic white. It would be really nice though if we could get a black pair. So come on Apple, AirPods number two, let's go black. So let's go ahead and pop these guys open. And immediately what I've noticed actually from the first few times I've tested these with a different pair, when you do pop the case open, it feels very sturdy and solid. I was wondering about that. I was wondering whether the hinge itself was going to be kind of plastic, just like the cases, or whether it was going to be something else. In this case, it is metal, you guys can see right there. So this should be good to go to open and close a number of times, and you don't have to worry about that hinge wearing out. I thought that that was going to be a point of failure. It doesn't look like it. So you can also see that we do have that LED there. It is flashing white. It might be kind of hard to see right now because of my lights. There we go but that means that it is searching for a connection. So let's go ahead and bring on over my iPhone so we can see exactly what we're working with here. You can see it already picks up the AirPods. So let's go ahead and close it because I want you guys to see that for the first time. I'm also going to bring up the brightness on my iPhone here. And all you have to do to connect again is just open it up. It's really as easy as that. So I'm not doing anything. Of course, Bluetooth is already on as you can see in the status bar and I'm just going to open the case. And there we go, we have the option to connect and we have a really slick animation that pops into frame as well. So let's go ahead and tap on connect and they should already be connected. As you can see, it gives us the charge level of both of the AirPods currently at 79% and the case is at 76%. So that's what I was talking about previously when it tells you specific charge information on your device. Now, when you're inside of Mac OS, if you connect to them inside of the top status bar or you switch to them rather, then essentially it will just kind of give you a battery indicator in a gray color so you can at least see the charge level of the two AirPods. All right, so now that it's connected, we can go ahead and just tap done and we can also pop these AirPods out of here. This is just the little animation that will appear every single time you then connect your AirPods to your iPhone. It just tells you the charge level. So we can go ahead and take them out just like so. And now it gives you the charge of the two as a cumulative pair. But if you notice they're really quick, I'm actually going to just put that in. If you just pop one out, it tells you the charge level of each. So as you can see, the left is charged to 85%, whereas the right is charged to 83%. So this is pretty cool. You can do things like actually starting a call with the left one if you wanted to. And then if that one starts to die, you can just pop it inside of the case, pop out the right one, and you can be good to go. And you can continue your call without actually dropping it. It will automatically switch based on which one you have in your ear. That's some pretty cool stuff right there. So when I take this one out as well, now it's just going to tell me the charge level of both of them, as I mentioned previously. And of course, to exit out of that, you just tap anywhere else on the screen. And now they're connected, guys. It's truly as easy as that. So if I wanted to open up Control Center here and swipe over, you can see that when I start playing, it should play from the AirPods. If I go ahead and switch over to them like that, and now it is playing from the AirPods. I just put one of them in my ear. I have the right one in my ear. And now the left one as well. 
And when I actually take one out, what it'll do is it'll pause. You can see now I have the option to resume playing, but when I put it back in my ear, now it's actually playing without me even tapping it. That's also some awesome stuff. And what I've actually been told is that when these are popped out of your ear, they are still connected because of course it does give you the charge level, but it puts them in a standby mode, so to speak. So that's very nice for conserving on battery life. And then of course, when you pop them back inside of the case, it fully turns them off. So that's basically the AirPods in a nutshell. Really awesome, but how do they sound? Because I mean, the tech is very great. The tech is definitely there. You can see it just by looking at them. And by the way, these are a little bit bigger than Apple's regular ear pod headphones, the ones that do come with the iPhone by default that are corded. So they're a little bit bigger. They fit pretty much the same. I'm gonna say actually better because I have tested them. I've tried to get them to fall out of my ears and they just don't come out easily at all. Whereas the corded ones, sometimes those can snag or the cord can snag and they come right out of your ear. That of course is not going to happen with these guys, the AirPods. And now as for the sound quality, I think they sound very, very good. Now the mid is a little bit lacking. So mid range could be a tad bit better, but for what they are guys, these are very small wireless earbuds. And not only that, but they're also wireless or independent from one another. Meaning not only is there not a cable connecting these two things, but each one connects to your iPhone individually. They both have Apple's new wireless W1 chip and that means that they don't have to actually send the signal from one to the other. They both connect directly to your iPhone or whichever device they're connecting to. So as far as sound quality goes, like I said, mids are a little bit lacking. I'm very, very impressed with the bass though. These things sound substantially better in my opinion than the ear pods. Like I am blown away with how fantastic these sound for what they are. I was expecting some really lame audio, but the coolness factor of being able to instantly connect to your iPhone or anything else. All you have to do is just pop them out of the case and boom, they're connected. They're very good, very convenient for on the go. And that's really what I was amped about the AirPods for, but these things have already exceeded all of my expectations. So I am absolutely blown away by these. I love them and I can tell that I'm going to be using them on a daily basis. Now, as you may have noticed, just from me holding these here, there's some interesting stuff going on. Of course, we do have Apple's regular ear pod like design with the cutouts for the drivers. But beyond that, you'll notice that we also have two little black dots. The first one is on the interior right here. And then the second one is on the exterior right here. Now these two dots are essentially infrared sensors and they're able to determine when the AirPods are actually in your ear. When they're in your ear, it starts playing your music if you had it paused and then when you take one out it actually pauses it and vice versa again like I said when you put it back in your ear then it starts playing but if you just wanted to put one back inside of the case and continue listening then you can do that just with one and then it becomes mono so yes you can immediately switch between mono and stereo based on whether you want to use one or two it will intelligently do that and it will also automatically do that now the only way that you can really tell which one goes in which ear besides Besides, of course, just being already familiar with the design and knowing because Apple has had this design since the launch of the iPhone 5, they do have left and right indicators at the bottom on the stem. Now this stem, in addition to holding the battery, also is how you're going to charge it. So you can see that down below at the bottom, it's kind of silver. And this is the metal contact, or rather this is what's going to make contact with the charging connector inside of the bottom of the case. It's super hard to see, but you can see there are two little contacts on each side there. And that's how it's going to send charge from the case battery to the batteries inside of the stem of the AirPods themselves. So some pretty sophisticated stuff is going on here. We also have some beam forming microphones at the bottom. You can kind of see that we do have some microphone mesh there. And we also should have some noise isolating microphones on either side as well. So these things have beam forming and noise isolating microphones. Now beyond just connecting to these things, can you customize them? Well, I'm glad you guys asked. Once you are connected, all you have to do is just launch up settings and then go inside of Bluetooth and then tap the little eye to the right of where it says AirPods and it should automatically connect and name them to whatever your name is based on your iCloud preferences. So of course my name's Tanner and it pulls that back and it automatically names these guys Tanner's AirPods. And then you can disconnect from them here or you can forget this device 
entirely. And what that'll do is it'll automatically sign these out of your iCloud account as well, but the name will still be maintained. So if you wanted to give these to someone or you wanted them to test them out for a while, you just disconnect them. And then if they want to change the name, they can launch up settings and then go inside of Bluetooth, tap the I, and they can change the name right here, just like so. So if I wanted to rename these, I could, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Now you can change what actually happens when you double tap on them when they're inside of your ear. By default, it will activate Siri, and that's how you're actually going to do things such as skipping tracks if you're listening to music, making a call, so an outgoing call, or really anything else that you'd use Siri to do. You just have to put these inside of your ear, and they do use the infrared sensor to know when they're in your ear, and then you just tap them, and they use the built-in accelerometer to actually activate Siri. But you can also have it just set to pause or play your music, or you could turn it off entirely if you wanted to. Most people are just going to leave it as Siri. And then you have automatic ear detection. That's when you pull it out, it stops playing, you put it in, it actually resumes. So I don't know who would want to do that, but you can turn it off if you so desire. And then finally, you have the ability to actually control which one is the dedicated microphone if you want. But if you just have it by default, it will automatically switch. So that's what I was saying previously. If you just use the left one, for instance, to actually make a call and then say it's starting to die, what you do is you'd pull out the right one, put it in, and then you'd pull out the left one and you'd put it back inside of the case and it would start charging and it would instantly switch between microphones because both of these have microphones. Like I said, these are pretty much two independent devices that operate independently from one another, but they also do provide the exact same sound if you're listening to them together in a stereo pair. Like I said, fantastic stuff, absolutely awesome work on Apple's part, thanks to the W1 chip found in both of these. So you can set it to always use the left one as a microphone or always use the right one as a microphone if you want. Most people will just leave it as default, so automatic. So that's pretty much everything for the AirPods, guys. I just wanted to cover two other things, though. We're going to talk about connecting and also how they fit inside of the case. So let's go ahead and flip the case up just like so. And of course, now it tells me the charge level of the case itself just with that little LED indicator. It comes up as being green, so it's not quite ready for a charge yet, but let's go ahead and put the AirPods inside of the case to essentially turn off the AirPods and so we can enter pairing mode on the AirPods. So let's close the lid. If you wanted to enter pairing mode to pair them with some other device, say you wanted to connect to an Android device or someone else's iPad, something that's essentially not signed into your iCloud account, you just flip this up right here and you hold down on the button on the back. So you just hold it until this light actually starts flashing white as I showed you guys previously before we connected to anything. And then once it does start flashing white, you're good to go and you can just connect to them as you normally would. But as you can see, it instantly picked up the connection to my iPhone before we even got that far. So if you do wanna do that, you need to set your iPhone off to the side open the little case and then hold the button on the back, which is very difficult to see because it kind of just blends in. But there you go, we can kind of pick it up now. It's just a very small circular button on the back. Those are just my thoughts on the AirPods as well as how they function, what you actually do with them, and what I think is the best value as far as truly wireless earbuds are concerned. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Of course, don't forget, I am giving away a pair of AirPods. So if you're interested in winning, again, like I said, definitely check this video out. It is linked down below in the description. Hurry up though, because it is actually going to conclude the week after Christmas. So it's going to be fully finalized on the 30th of December. Make sure you enter now. I can't believe how absolutely fantastic these guys are. I'm so pumped to actually edit this video using them. And again, like I said, let me know your thoughts below. Also click that subscribe button if you wanna be updated and informed when I release new videos. And you can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter to be updated even more often. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.